Okay, so I saw a problem similar to this, and I really liked it. Um, it does oversimplify a lot of things. So take a moment, click through it, try it out, and press play when you're ready to solve it with me. All right, so again, things are oversimplified, but basically there's a planet here, a moon here. We want to know um, what is the radius of that moon? What's that distance right there? And of course, the surfaces of these planets are uneven. Of course, their distance is not com constant. But I like this problem because it reminds us that what we're doing with triangles, in many, many cases, is approximating distance. So we're told that the angle subtended by the full moon is 0.618 degrees. It's a small angle. Where is that angle? Well, it's the angle, oops, angle right here, right? And that I say that, this is angle at A. Okay. Assume the distance from the big planet to the small moon from point A to B is 318,000 miles. Okay, so we're given this distance right here. That's 318,000 miles, and we're trying to find the radius. So what I would do is first sketch this out. I would say we've got a triangle. I'm going to do this, this triangle here, this full triangle. So this triangle right here, it's a right triangle. And we know that point B is like, let's say here. Here's point A. Here's point B. We know this is 318,000 miles. We don't know this little distance X here, which is the radius of the moon. And this and this are both the radius, so those are equal. Here's X. Um, and we don't also know the other leg. But we do know this angle right here. That is half the total angle we're given. So it's 0 0.618 divided by 2. And I just think of 618 divided by 2 is 309. So this is 0.309. All right. So we need to find x. Well, we've got the opposite, and we've got the hypotenuse. This is the, hy this is the opposite. This is the hypotenuse of the triangle. So let's use sine. Right? There must be a way to do it. So the sine of 0 0.309 equals opposite. That's the x over, what is that hypotenuse? Well, it's 318,000 plus x. 318,000 plus x. Well, there's not much we can do at this point, but let's, let's, do, let's isolate x. So let's multiply our denominator by this sine value right here. So we get the sine of 0 0.309 times 318,000 plus the sine of 0 0.309 times x equals x. And we're, we're really getting somewhere, actually. The next typical step will be to subtract this term on both sides, because look what happens. We get the sine of 0 0.309 times 318,000, and that's going to equal x minus the sine of 0 0.309 times x. And on this right-hand side, what's our common factor? What's in both terms? Well, it's x. So x times 1 minus the sine of 0 0.309 is what this really equals on the right. And all we have to do now, rewriting our terms, is isolate x. Get it all by itself. And how do we do that? We divide off of this term. Right? We get, we're dividing by 1 minus the sine of 0 0.309. And these are going to cancel, and that's the value of x. So what do we get? Well, we're going to do it in pieces. Sine of 0 0.309 times 318,000. And that's divided by 1 minus the sine of 0 0.309. Okay, my parentheses there. Okay, I think this is good. Yes. So we get um, 1724.286. So I think the rounding here, what was it, to the nearest, let me find that, nearest thousand. So 1724.286. And that gives us the radius of the moon here. That's a nice approximation. Thanks.